Hello everyone. Let us learn discharge velocity and seepage velocity and how they are related to each other. Consider a cylindrical volume of length L and hence water passes through the cylindrical passage with a velocity V. Let us take any point and find out the cross section along that location. Let A be the cross section of the cylindrical volume. Hence, the discharge Q is given by Q is equal to velocity into area of cross section. But in case of soil, if we consider such a cylindrical volume, water passes through only the void spaces. Hence, the cross section area through which the flow happens is only the area of void spaces in the given cross section. Hence, the same discharge Q is given as Vs into AV. Here, what is Vs? Vs is the seepage velocity, which is the velocity of fluid considering only the void spaces of the given cross sectional area. Hence, find out what is seepage velocity in terms of discharge velocity. Here we have discharges in two conditions, one considering the entire cross-sectional area and the other one considering the flow happening only through the void spaces. Here this is also Q equal to VA and this one is also Q is equal to Vs into AV. Let us equate them. VA is equal to Vs into AV. And uh, what is Vs now? Vs is equal to Va by Av. And now what am I going to do is multiply the numerator and the denominator by the length of this cylindrical volume into L. Here, what is A into L? Area of cross section into length which forms the volume. So, V to Differentiate it here. This V represents velocity, which is discharge velocity. And uh, this capital V indicates area into length, which is volume. Divided by AV into L, which represents area of void into length. That gives you void volume. Right? So, Vs is equal to V, capital V, which is volume here. So, I will just directly write volume divided by VV into small v is there, which is your discharge velocity. Okay. So, what is volume of voids by total volume? That gives you porosity in the denominator. So, V by N. Hence, Vs, C page velocity Vs. Velocity Vs is equal to discharge velocity V by N. So, I have used this symbol to represent small letter V. Alright. Here, seepage velocity is equal to discharge velocity by porosity. And seepage velocity is always greater than discharge velocity. Why in the sense, in the case of seepage velocity, only we are considering the area formed by the void spaces. It is almost like if there are too many crowded people and you keep the door wide open, then people will move with a normal speed. Whereas, if you keep the door half closed, then people will start rushing through the half open door. So, that is the case why seepage velocity is greater than discharge velocity because you are reducing the area of cross section for the flow to happen. That is why the velocity is greater for the given discharge. And uh, in case of seepage velocity, we consider coefficient of percolation. And what is coefficient of percolation? It is coefficient of permeability divided by porosity. 